Hello, people of YouTube. Hello, silver stackers. Hello, coin roll hunters. Welcome to my little corner of the internet. This is Michael from Penny Haven. And first off, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, then give it a like, then come back over here and hit that bell icon so you know when my new videos come out. Okay, so tonight I went to my local coin club and I made a couple straight up purchases. I won a couple things in an auction and I came away with a few American Silver Eagles. I'll show you all of that stuff in a minute. First, I'm gonna show you what I got in the mail today. I got this 1919 San Francisco Buffalo Nickel. You might be thinking to yourself, uh, so what, big deal? Well, it is kind of a big deal. Let me just show you my Buffalo Nickel book. Here we go, last page is all full. This page, it seems to only be missing one. A 1919 San Francisco. No longer missing. There we go. And my first page is only missing the 1918D over 17. So you know what that means? I'm calling this book complete. So I have my complete Buffalo Nickel Library of Coins book. And I have a decent start on my backup book. There's the first page. I got a lot on that second page. There we go. <clears throat> so, never not collecting. Got a nice full book to put on the shelf. All right, now let's get down to what I got at Coin Club tonight. First off, I got a little selection of large pennies. I bought a couple just straight up. I bought these two straight up, and then I got these uh, in the auction. I think I paid three bucks for that. It's a little high, but you know. I like to make the auction exciting. There we go. So I will check my books for these, and then I'll either put those away with some other ones, or I might put some up on eBay. And I bought a couple other things direct. Oddly enough, the guy had two 1884 half farthings. I don't actually have any half farthings. So one of these is going to go into my, uh, the unofficial UK typeset I'm making. And then the other one's going to go on my eBay store. So, if you're looking for an 1844 half farthing, check it out. Got this 1962 half dollar. Oddly enough, I don't have very many coins in my Franklin book, and I already have this one. So, and it's not an upgrade, but I got it for, uh, I think I got it for like eight bucks. Then I got this 1927 Standing Liberty Quarter. I think I got for five bucks. So those were both reasonable. So got those. So the local coin club, we recently had our yearly coin show. And for that, I sold raffle tickets. A few of you actually bought some from me. Thank you for that. I'm sorry that none of my tickets were winners, but for selling 160 tickets, I got two American Silver Eagle Type 2. Look at that. So that's a great incentive to get out there and sell raffle tickets. And we'll be selling some more here in a few months because 
The annual show is generally in March, but it got moved back to September this past year. So we are going to have our regularly, regularly scheduled show in March. Then we have a couple of different raffles. We have just the, you know, members door prize. Uh, so everybody gets a ticket for that. And then there's a 50-50. You know, you split the money uh, with the club. And then there's a silver dollar raffle. So I bought 12 tickets for $10 for that raffle tonight. And I go up there. There were four winners tonight. The third ticket gets pulled. And it's one of my numbers. And the way it works is you win... You come up, you grab your prize, and then you pull the next ticket. And wouldn't you know it, I pulled another one of my tickets. So for $10 worth of raffle tickets, I got two ASEs. So I made out like a bandit tonight. Oh, I also got, it just so happens that T from Marley and T, if you haven't seen my recent video of the coin grab bag she just sent me. Go check it out. One of the things she sent me was one of these. It's a Canadian Victory Nickel commemorative, 1945-2005. And I didn't have this commemorative. I have a, another uh, colorized commemorative, a modern commemorative, and then I have an example of each year of the original ones. And I did not have this. So that was a perfect fit, and I've already put it into a little book with my other Victory Nickels. And the guy had a whole bag of these. He bought the whole roll just to get one for himself. So I was able to buy a few of these off of him. So since I already have that nice one from T in my collection, I'm going to put these on my eBay store. All right. So that's it. I made a little announcement on Twitter today. I'm very close to having 200 items up on my eBay store, and I'm going to list some more stuff tonight. And when I hit 200 items, I'm going to have a big sale to celebrate. So that will likely be this weekend, so keep a lookout. I will uh, put a post up about it, if not a video. So come out and check that out. I really appreciate all of you who have come over and supported my eBay store. I do like to have a variety of stuff out there. And, you know, if you send me an offer, if it's fair, you know, I tend to take it. So I like to just keep coins moving. And I like to share with the community. So come check out my store. Time to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my YouTube channel members. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. This is Michael from Pennyhaven. Happy hunting.